Welcome to another Coding Like Mad MATLAB tutorial. Today I'm going to go over how to take screenshots in MATLAB. So by screenshots, I mean how do I collect data from the screen and bring that data into MATLAB. This functionality is actually incredibly useful for making bots and other AI applications. Lately I've been using it for a project where I make MATLAB play various computer games like Minesweeper. If you want to see this project or stay up to date with the channel, I publish new MATLAB and data science videos every week or two, so don't forget to subscribe below. Taking screenshots in MATLAB is a bit on the tricky side. We need to use a piece of functionality that lets us use a Java API. For more advanced MATLAB applications, this is often the best approach. In this case, we're going to use the java.awt.robot API. This API lets us take control of the computer's inputs and outputs. In particular, in this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the first method listed here, the create screen capture method. This lets us save a piece of the screen into a MATLAB array, essentially taking a screenshot but putting it into memory instead of onto disk. A number of other useful functions exist in this API, like pressing and releasing keyboard keys, moving the mouse, pressing different mouse buttons or the mouse wheel, and I'll talk about these other functions in a separate video, which, once it's available, I'm going to link right here. So let's start by looking at a simple function that I made for taking screenshots from the desktop. So this is a function I made. You can find it on the GitHub repository for the channel. This function starts out by using the java.awt.robot method as a constructor, and then afterwards, we need to create a rectangle using the Java interface, which has the left, top, width, and height specified in the first, second, third, and fourth positions. And you can see it's using the robot.createScreenCapture command that I previously mentioned. And then all it's doing is converting this into an array which can represent an image. So we need to uh, use the typecast command in order to take our three channels and convert them into the red, green, and blue channels of a three-dimensional matrix. Okay, so let's use this functionality to uh, actually do a screen capture. This is pretty straightforward. So my command takes uh, four arguments, the left, top, width, and height that we want to do a screen capture for. So I'll start by doing a capture in the top left corner by putting in zero and zero. And then I'll do 200 by 200 pixels. And we're gonna pop this up into a new figure with I am show. So let's just go ahead and do that. And there it is. We've got a figure where we captured a piece of the screen. From this point, you can do just about anything you want with this. You can post-process it. In another video, I'm going to show how to take that data, process it, and use it to play Minesweeper, for example. In another video, I'm using it as part of an art project for uh, making paint do things paint was never meant to do. So really, uh, the sky's the limit here. If you like this kind of video, please feel free to comment, let us know below, and subscribe for more content just like this.